Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm doing a makeup video and I'm so excited. I don't know, I think I mentioned it in my past few videos. Maybe my get ready with me. But I've just been really into makeup at the minute and I haven't stopped buying makeup. So I have this big box of all new makeup that I've purchased literally within like the past week or week and a half. I've just been on one with buying makeup. I have not really bought any clothes this month. It's just been makeup 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 i feel like i am 17 years old again when i used to be obsessed with it and spent all of my wages on it so i asked over on my instagram which is megan lou underscore underscore if you did want to follow me I basically did a poll asking whether you'd be interested in a full face of first impressions of all the new bits and bobs i've been buying and i think it was like 97 percent of you said yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be trying all these new products on my face, telling you what I think, and if it goes down okay, and if I enjoy it, and everything like that. I definitely want to start doing more makeup videos, I guess, if if the passion stays, because I do get obsessed with things quite quickly, and then I'll just snap out of it. But yeah, it'd be fun to do like some summer looks, some post-lockdown makeup looks. Yeah, I'm just going to try out all these new products, tell you what I think, and let's just get in to the video we have a variety of like high-end to drugstore stuff I'm just gonna pin my hair back with my headband i did buy them hair clips that like everyone uses and i think kylie jenner uses as well them little like hair clips but they haven't come yet and i wanted to film this video so. so it's just gonna be the Minnie mouse headband again for today like i said i bought a variety of like high-end to drugstore makeup so i mainly went off of like recommendations from videos i've been watching and also some friend recommend recommendations as well this is pretty much a full face of first impressions i don't have eyebrow product just because i don't care about my eyebrows i'm not interested in a new product and I don't have a new blush or concealer either, just because nothing really intrigued me. So this is the first product that I'm trying. This is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. And also in terms of like skin type, I have very oily skin. So I try to get things that obviously gear towards the oily skin spectrum. So I picked up this Matte Putty Primer and I saw, I was watching a lot of Jordan Lipscomb's old makeup videos because I've just been obsessed with makeup and I feel like makeup isn't as big of a thing on YouTube anymore. Like trying to find actually recent makeup videos and makeup tutorials is way harder. Like I was watching a lot of tutorials that are like a year and two years old because I just feel like it's not really... I don't know, is it makeup y anymore, YouTube? I don't know. But Jordan Lipscomb used this in quite a lot of her makeup tutorials. And then I was watching like matte, favourite matte foundation videos, and a lot of people kept using this primer. And it was £8, which I think is kind of expensive for e.l.f. Like I feel like, wasn't e.l.f. supposed to be like dirt cheap? But I've got the matte version. I'm just gonna, I don't really know how to use that, like, dig a little bit out, I guess. It's kind of like a weird consistency. It's like thick and just put it on my T-zone, my nose where I get really oily. It's a really weird consistency, like, it's like a whipped cream almost, like a mousse, it's really weird. So I'm just gonna put it on my T-zone and where I get the most oily. And I always find that with like matte primers and stuff, they never control my oil, like they just make no difference i've tried so many matte primers and i just feel like they never do anything to be honest with you so if this actually works that's why i feel like as well if you guys have watched any of my other makeup tutorials i bet i usually won't wear foundation and i feel like it's just because i have oily skin like it never ends up looking nice because all the oils come out and i have to keep powdering and blotting and i just find it a bit of a pilar. yeah that feels really nice to be fair it feels like silky on the skin it's really really nice and doesn't have a scent and they do have different versions of this they have like a poreless one i think they have a luminous one i don't really why do i feel like my face is stinging is it stinging i think we're okay it feels like it's stinging in this area a little bit god knows so that's the matte putty primer but i feel like with primers you don't really know how they wear until obviously you wear them throughout the day and see how it holds up all your makeup and stuff i've actually got two new sponges i picked up the real techniques sponge which to be fair i do usually use i just picked up a new one and i picked one up with a case because i just i never know where to put them because they're just lying around in your makeup drawer it just feels a bit ugh. and this one comes with a little case like a little travel Okay, so I thought that was quite good. I do think that the Beauty Blender is better than this, but this is like 
£10 cheaper. So I'm going to just stick with the Real Techniques. I'm going to go and wet this. And then I also picked up the Real Techniques powder sponge, which I didn't know existed. And then again, I was watching Jordan Lipscomb um, makeup tutorials and she was setting her face with this powder sponge. Whether it does anything different, I don't know. But apparently it's like for a smooth and seamless finish and you can use it not wet. Use damp or dry with powders. Seamlessly apply setting bronzer, highlight and blush powders for a flawless finish. I don't know. But I just thought I would try it out to set my skin because I am oily so I have to like set my face. I think I'm going to wet this as well. Don't... Oh. Ugh. It's like furry. It's literally like fuzzy. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's like a fuzzy. Yes, that makes powders apply. I do feel like my face is stinging here. I don't know why, because I don't even have sensitive skin. I'm going to wet these. I don't know what the real technique sponge is like, but I haven't had a fresh one in a while. I'm not going to lie. I've used to barely repurchase them, which I'm going to get better at. I need to start repurchasing the powders, the sponges regularly, because it's a bit rank. Both the sponges are wet. And now for a new foundation, which I'm so excited about, because I've not had a new foundation in, honestly, I don't even know how long. If you guys have watched my previous makeup videos um i mainly don't wear foundation i'll just use concealer and then obviously with lockdown as well like i barely need to wear like i'd wear foundation if i was going like out out but because that hasn't happened i just haven't worn it and the few times we did go out out like in when when was we like allowed out like july 2020 i just feel like i wasn't into makeup so i just wore concealer so i bought this new foundation so excited about it so this i feel like is always on social media youtube i just feel like it's quite a popular foundation and my friend also has it and she recommended it it is the nars radiant Longwear foundation the packaging of nars like it just feels so bougie it's such a pretty glass bottle with just nars on it and then a soft matte lid i'm just the packaging i can't get over it. i feel like i want to put it on display because it's so nice i did used to have the nars shade glow and i did not like it just because i have oily skin it was just oily mess on me i bought it in the shade barcelona so i did have to guess i mean i could have waited until april 12th i mean it's only two weeks away so i could have gone into shops and like test a lot of this stuff out for colors but i was too impatient for that i wanted this foundation so i ordered it in barcelona so i'm going to use a pump of this on my new sponge it's very liquidy i feel like that color is actually really good match my fake tan obviously i'm not this color naturally but for my fake tan i feel like i did bloody well i like that it's really liquidy even though i am oily i really don't like a thick matte like you know like just mask foundation I don't like how that looks, but then I feel like sometimes they're the best if you do have oily skin. Okay, that's really nice. It's like, it's really, is it called natural? Did I just say that? Oh, it's called natural. Natural radiant. Why did I buy a radiant foundation? I'm literally just saying how I'm oily. Oh my God, I love it. I know that's quick to say, but that was literally half a pump on that side of my face. I usually use, if I'm going out, I'll use the Maybelline 24 hour, which I do really like. But it is quite a thick foundation. Like, I just find for everyday wear, it's a little bit too thick. Like, I feel like it's good for a night out. But for every day, I don't really... I wouldn't want to wear it every day. I love it. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to wear, obviously. But the actual finish of it, it is radiant, which I'm going to cover up with powder anyway. Coverage is really good. I feel like if you was to use a brush, you'd probably get a lot more of a thicker... Uh, full of coverage even but i'm quite happy with the way that this looks it just looks so nice on the skin like it just made my skin look really flawless but doesn't look like i've got really much on at all which i, I literally use a pump i think of this and it's covered my whole face i'm just gonna drag it down my neck because it is that little bit little bit darker than the tan on my neck i'd say with foundations like you just don't know how they're gonna last and also with trying like a full face of first impressions like i'm not gonna know whether it's the foundation that's good or bad or the primer that's good or bad like i feel like i need to try them all separately with products that i know work i'm just gonna do a tiny bit more i feel like i've used like a fiver's worth it makes me cringe a bit build up that coverage it just looks natural like i definitely agree with what it's called because like i said i do love that maybelline foundation but i do find that it does look a bit it's not cakey because I like it, but it's just very full coverage and thick. This just looks so natural on the skin. Like, I feel like it looks like skin. 
so far i would say 10 out of 10 like i feel like i would wear this every day but maybe that was my problem why i didn't want to wear foundation i hadn't found a good like everyday one i don't know if this is like i feel like i could wear this for a night out as well because it is a really good amount of coverage just wipe it off my lips I know it's sad, but I'm just so excited. I've been so excited to film this video and try out the products. But this gets an A plus so far. I really, really like the way that that looks. And the colour is just perfect. Um, my tan isn't that deep right now, so I don't know whether it would be actually a little bit light for when I'm like properly, properly tanned. But you can probably change it with some bronzer. And if I really like it, I will buy a darker colour if it lasts well. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my normal concealer, which is the Too Faced Born This Way in Light Beige. Yeah, there wasn't really a concealer that I was that interested in, to be honest. Like, I saw the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on the website and I was just like, oh, I feel like I've had it before and I wasn't that impressed with it. I just love this concealer. It's just full coverage, but really creamy. There's someone at the door. Of course there is. I literally just opened the door like this like because I can't chance missing a parcel and I feel like the postmen always must just see people in the most random of states so you know what who cares but I just saw myself in the other mirror and oh my god this just looks flawless and the combination with it with the foundation like oh I just love it like I literally love it this concealer is just the best I just think it's such an amazing concealer and it's blended in really really nicely with that foundation so now we're on to powder which I'm very excited about because again this is a little bit of a bougie product this is the YSL souffle de Clark. I don't really know powder so my friends are always raving about this powder apparently like completely blurs your under eyes and brightens them it's like a filter Apparently, and I bloody hope so because this was expensive. Again, I got a code with it. I feel like on Look Fantastic, Feel Unique, them sort of websites, you can always sort of get like a student discount code or I don't know. I feel like there's always some sort of code on. So I got this for £33 with the discount, which is a lot of money. But to be fair, there's like a lot of powder in this. I'd be a little bit pissed off if it was like a small amount of product. But there's a lot of powder in here and the packaging is just so pretty and bougie so i'm going to use this to set my t-zone and again this is like a i think they call it like a radiant powder yeah natural radiance a fresh look i don't know why i keep buying radiant products because like i said i have this natural radiance anyway because i'm so oily but do you know what we'll give it a go because my friends just kept going on about this powder i did also buy the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder because i've seen a lot of people talk about this as well but i think i'll save that for another video oh we'll use my new powder sponge as well we'll see if that makes any difference god what the hell okay so i'm going to take it with this real techniques powder sponge and just sort of like am i supposed to bake with it oh god i feel like i might have messed up there i don't know if you're supposed to bake with it <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing do you know what? I think it might be the sponge because usually, like, if you pick up that amount of powder, not as much comes off on your face as this. So maybe this doesn't suck up the product. Like, maybe this is why it's a powder sponge because it works. Like, it gets the powder. Oh my god, you can literally see all the hairs on my chin. So I'm just going to set my T-zone with this, I think. And then I might actually use the Charlotte Tilbury powder for the rest of my face. So now that's just sat for about a minute or so, I'm just going to brush it off and see if it you know is it supposed to brighten i think it's supposed to brighten and just make you look airbrushed apparently i don't know like i feel like it does look really flawless under there but i feel like it did look flawless anyway from the foundation and the concealer like i don't know if it's really done much more feels lovely okay so far i'm not sure i feel like it does look really flawless but i feel like it looked flawless anyway from the other products then i'm going to set my whole face with the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder i got this in medium i'm just going to use it to actually set the rest of my face um just to make sure that all the powders and stuff sit on it really nicely and it's supposed to airbrush so if it could airbrush my face as well that would always be nice to be fair yeah, my face does look flawless like i think it might be a combination of everything first it's really flawless but what it doesn't look which i really like it doesn't look like cakey dry it doesn't look like that at all so neither of these powders have made my skin look dry and i used to use the 
RCMA no colour powder but I found it really one I found it gave me a white cast and also like I sit on my face with it and I just looked so dry I mean by the time you put all your bronzers on and your highlight and stuff it looks fine it probably is better for oily skin I just think this looks way more natural and it just looks really, really airbrushed and smooth. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. I've got this new palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'd never heard of the, this brand, but again, I was watching Jordan Lipscomb videos. I feel like most of this stuff is like off her recommendations. But in one of her videos, makeup videos, she said this was her favourite palette. And just like the formula and the colour selection is like everything you need. You just need this one palette apparently. So I thought I'd pick it up. And when I went on the website, it was on sale for £20. So I thought that was really good. And I have opened this up and the colours are so pretty. And I have swatched quite a few as well because I did get excited. But they have such a nice array of colours. You have a lot of like warm browns and then some pinky shades, some more like neutral shades. And we even have like green here. It's just a really, really nice array of colours. I feel like I definitely agree with that this could probably be like your only palette. You really wouldn't need too much more. Eyeshadow is definitely not my strongest point. I'm not the best eyeshadow, but I kind of need like a good um, eyeshadow primer as well because I have really, really good oily lids and I find they just suck up all the powders i'm gonna go in with the color asha which is just like a sort of like my skin tone shade and i'm just gonna run this all over my crease just to sort of like set it and just sort of blend that out on the crease acting like i know what i'm talking about i don't i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the peach out which is a peachy color i don't want this look to be too too warm i'm kind of over the very very warm like orangey makeup looks like i just don't think they look nice on me i prefer more of like a neutral to warm brown rather than that really warm orange but i'm just going to use a little bit of this in the crease just to warm up the look a little bit these are they're pigmented but they're not like super super pigmented which i prefer because i don't like it when i just put on loads of color and i just find it really hard to deal with <laughs> to cope with i'm just thinking like if i get into makeup when we can go out in summer like pub gardens imagine just like being really good at makeup and just going out in all these different like bronzy gold peachy looks that is just what i am aiming for that is what i'm trying to achieve so i really need to just get my skills up in preparation for summer 2021 i'm just going to go in with the color sandy which is like a neutral to warm light mid brown and again i'm just putting that in the crease slightly below that peach shade and i'm just going to take the shade dirty tan which is kind of like a deeper shade of sandy and a little warmer and just put that again in the crease but sort of keeping it more on the outer corner of my eye just avoiding the inner corner basically with this color and then with a thick sort of shader brush i'm going to take the shade too much which is like a neutral deeper brown and i'm just going to put this on like my outer corner and just sort of like flick it out i don't really know what i'm doing and then i'm going to go in with a shimmer i'm going to take the shade boss so i'm just going to put this on the lid Oh my god can you guys see that it's so shimmery oh my god it looks like a pigment so shimmery it literally looks like a pigment i think there's a little bit of fallout and okay, then i'm going to go back in with that sandy color and just like blend the crease ever so slightly just to make sure everything is really blended and seamless Okay, I literally love that. I think it looks so nice not to like, you know, toot my own horn or whatever. But I think that looks really nice. For someone who's not very good at makeup, I feel like I did an okay job. And that glittery colour is literally amazing. I'm actually going to take the tiniest bit more just on this inner bit just to really intensify it. So it's nice and glittery. But wow, the shimmer on it is literally insane i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera real quick and then i'm gonna come back and do the rest of the makeup so i just go ahead and just do a layer of mascara just to save time a little bit i just use my usual mascara i do want to try that maybelline like tiktok one i think it's called sky high 
but I just I just I like my mascara so I'm quite picky but for bronzer I bought the MAC mineralized skin finish and give me sun and I used to use this like years and years ago it's like a very warm bronzer but I feel like I stopped using it because I didn't feel like it gave me enough like pigment but I thought I'd get it again because I thought with summer coming up like a nice warm natural like radiant bronzer would be really nice for the summertime and I also bought this brush by Lottie London is that bronzer or powder brush it's a really pretty bronzer it's just very warm like i don't know whether i look almost too orange i don't know i feel like once all the makeup's on we'll be able to see it. it's a really pretty bronze again i have that really radiant look i don't look really powdery i don't look like all these products together i feel like are all really radiant nothing looks really powdery or anything like that so it is nice but i don't know it's a little bit too orange for me although it doesn't really look like it in the camera i just finished up the bottom of my under eyes add a little bit of blush as well and i also flipped my inner corner in a little bit with the dark brown i've been really liking doing that since i saw um madison beer's makeup tutorial but i'm just gonna highlight my inner corner and my eyebrow with this glow up shade this is the lightest shade in the palette it's like a shimmery champagne so i'm just gonna highlight my inner corner with that actually kind of silvery which mm, not sure i really want it actually has like more of a silverness to it which i don't really like especially when the looks quite warm so that is the eyes done now for a highlight to try out this is the becca highlight in champagne pop now this isn't actually new but like i mentioned i was sorting out my makeup and i chucked loads of stuff out i was just trying to organize it because i had so much stuff i literally had two massive bags of stuff that i was throwing out and then i found this highlight and i was like what like, i didn't even know that i owned champagne pop like obviously becca champagne pop was such a big thing on youtube it was like a cult youtube highlight um it was made by jacqueline hill and yeah i feel like i honestly had no idea that i owned this it does look used but not a lot so i thought you know what i'm going to use this because it will be like a first impression because i don't really need any new highlights at the minute but this feels like a new highlight to me because i had no idea that i owned it it almost looks like peachy i feel like it doesn't look like that normal like gold that i really like um putting it on my cheekbones it's really pretty but it's not like super intense and i feel like jacqueline was like known for her really intense highlight like, that was her thing really come out that intensely which i'm not mad at because i'm not really into like the blinding highlight anymore to be honest it does look so nice on the skin it's just like a sheen it doesn't look like powder sitting on the skin it just sinks into the skin really nicely and does give that sheen but oh god it's actually really pretty i'm actually going to go over my inner corners and my eyebrows with this because i just feel like it has a more of that tone that goes with the makeup because that color is just really like silvery i cannot get over how like my skin looks right now it looks so natural and like radiant because usually my skin when i put actual makeup on like foundation powder i look very like full-on powdered matte like just intense but everything looks so just like it's all sitting on the skin so nicely and not oily at all and honestly i'm that oily that sometimes i'll put my makeup on and then by the time i've got to the end i just have to put i have to re-powder because i'm just so oily I don't know whether that's the powder, but the powder is just giving like the night. I can really see now how it's like a nice radiant powder. To be fair, it could be the matte putty primer as well. So I don't know, but all I know is it looks really, really good. So for lips, I have this lip liner in cork. I got this from MAC. I don't know why I bought this. I feel like I saw it on TikTok or I don't know where I had cork in my head, but I just knew it was a nice brown colour. But when I bought it, I remember that I really didn't like MAC lip liners. I feel like they were really dry in and just like dragged on your lips. So I kind of forgot about that. But I'm going to try this lip liner. I feel like it will go really nicely with the eyes. That's so creamy. Have they changed the formula of this? I do not remember it being like this. I remember it just being so dry and you had to like drag it on your lip. It's actually a really nice colour. It goes with the eyes a lot. It is a warm brown. A warm brown? I don't know what it is, but it's, it does look really nice. I usually go for more like a, like a nude colour than this. This is quite a brown, but I do really like it. I picked up two lipsticks, which I think I'm going to mix together. So I picked up the MAC lipstick in Honey Love. And I got this because I used to be obsessed with this lip colour. It was like my favourite. When I used to collect matte lipsticks back in the day. Speaking of that, I literally chucked away so many the other day. Honey Love was like my absolute favourite. And then I ended up losing it and I just never repurchased it. 
but I just remember it being just like a simple light nude really but it was like my favourite so I'm gonna use this and it's a matte lipstick it's a little bit of pink like beige to it it's the lip and then this is pretty pale enough for me to be honest but speaking of Jordan Lipskin I get lip but speaking of Jordan Lipscomb again, she kept using this lipstick in her tutorials and I feel like she always has such a light, like peachy nude. Like she wears very, very light nudes and she kept using this Morphe, um, I was going to call it concealer then because it literally looks like concealer, this Morphe lipstick and I found it on ASOS. It's in the colour First Base. Their packaging is un real i don't even know they did like these lipsticks it's in the color first base and it literally is like a peachy concealer um but i thought do you know what i'm just you know your lips gonna use this so i'm gonna i'm gonna use it so i think i'm just gonna put this in the middle it's quite a like warm lip anyway so i think i'm gonna line it up a little bit and then i think i might put on i don't know if put on a gloss or not because i quite like the lipstick it's literally like putting concealer on your lip i quite like it though I actually really really like it like it's very peachy it adds a lot of it because i feel like sometimes if i use concealer in the middle of my lid it cut lid middle of my lips it kind of makes the lips a little bit ashy but this is really peachy i actually really really like it i don't think i want to put a gloss on just because i really like these lip combos together I just buy a new gloss though i bought this revolution pout bomb plumping lip gloss which is clear in the shade glaze and obsessed i already used it it just it makes your lips look wet like literally wet and i don't know if it particularly i don't know if it really plumped them let see it made your lips look so wet so i went to Superdrug and i bought another one in a color it's like a really nice light pink and in the shade candy so i thought i'd try that as well because i'm really into glosses at the minute they literally make your lips look wet i really recommend these and they're only a fiver but i feel like i'm going to keep the lips like this just because i really like the color and i feel like it goes really well with the eyes this is the finished makeup this is all of my new products on my face pretty much Honestly, i feel so impressed mainly with my skin like the eyeshadows are really nice they're really pigmented i feel like for someone who's a very good at eyeshadow i feel like it looks all right they're really pigmented i'm really impressed with how shimmery the lid is like they're so so shimmery i really really, really, like, I really, really like how that looks the foundation doesn't look thick i don't look oily yet so it might be the primer i don't know all i know is everything that i use i definitely just love everything that i've used and i even like this like peachy lip as well so i would say this was pretty successful i really enjoyed doing this video it was so exciting to just try all the new products and just see what i think and i'm just i'm into makeup at the minute okay i don't know what it is but i'm obsessed with makeup so if you have any other makeup recommendations then definitely let me know Ooh. I forgot, I also got this. I got the Urban Decay All Night to Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So do you know what? I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but let's just spray it anyway. I got that as well because I thought that might be good as well when we start going out. And it's hot and stuff. It might be good to have a makeup setting spray. I've never had this before. I'm just going to spray this on my face. Do I get my eyes wet? I don't know. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, I never had this all night spray, so I thought I'd just pick it up and just, you know, try it out for the summer and stuff. Although they do, or they do a matte version, which apparently is good for oily skin, so I kind of wish I'd picked that up, but I've got that to try. Now that really is, like, everything of my new products all on my face, but I would definitely say my, like, highlights of what I've used. I feel like it might be this e.l.f. putty primer, you know, because my skin just does not look oily at all, so I'm not sure whether it's this that's doing it the putty primer so i definitely need to try this out with a foundation like a, a foundation that i usually wear to see if it does the same sort of thing and also i would say the foundation and this powder i wasn't sure when i first put it on whether it really did anything but now i've like stood back actually looked at my makeup properly like my under eyes just looks really radiant and it definitely did brighten as well so hopefully this is worth the heavy price tag that they both well they both had these were definitely the highlights for me and i just feel like with makeup the skin is the most important part my camera is now flashing red because i've been talking for so long i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was interesting i know makeup isn't really like i said like a big thing on youtube anymore but i definitely want to start doing a few different like makeup tutorials like summer looks and stuff so do let me know if that's something you'd be interested in or give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video